When was the last time you cried? Do you also cry? My dear brothers and sisters, people cry for different reasons. There is not one single reason for crying. There are various reasons. There are tears of joy. There are tears of sorrow. There are tears of lamentation and anguish. There are also sadly what we call crocodile tears. If we were to examine ourselves now, would Jesus also cry for us? What kind of tears would Jesus be shedding for us? Our gospel reading for today portrays a very human side of the Lord. Jesus cried. Jesus wept over Jerusalem because the people of Jerusalem failed to recognize the divine presence of Jesus. I have the feeling that at this point in our history, the Lord is crying. The Lord is weeping. With all the devastation that happened because of the typhoons, because of the flooding, because of the destruction of our environment, the Lord is crying. The Lord can see the victims of the typhoons and the flooding in Marikina, in the different parts of Rizal, in Catanduanes, in Albay, in Isabela, in Cagayan, in Batangas, in Mindoro, and elsewhere. The people are suffering. People are hungry. People are crying. I'm sure the Lord is also crying for them. My dear friends in Christ, the gospel episode today shows one of the rare instances in which the Lord Jesus cried. Yes, believe it or not, Jesus also cried. Jesus also wept. He cried at the death of Lazarus. Jesus cried when he was being crucified on the cross. The tears of Jesus are the tears of God. When Jesus saw the unnecessary pain, the suffering, the stubbornness of heart of the people of Jerusalem, because these people did not recognize the presence of God, in the presence of Jesus. My dear brothers and sisters, our Lord might still be shedding tears of sorrow and lamentation for our failure to grasp His message more fully and put it into practice. Do we also recognize the presence of the Lord in the sacraments Every time we celebrate the Eucharist in confession, do we recognize the presence of Jesus in our neighbor, especially in the poor, in the homeless, and in the sick? Do we recognize the Lord in the scripture and in our daily experiences? Our Lord could be shedding tears of joy because we have been trying our best to live the Christian life to the full, but our Lord can also be shedding tears of sorrow and anguish because of our refusal to be fully converted to His message. My dear friends in Christ, I suddenly remember Monica, the mother of St. Augustine, who cried for 27 years until Augustine was converted. That is why Augustine is known as the son of tears.
Our Lord cried. Our Lord wept. Do not be ashamed to cry because if there is a good reason to cry, it is human to cry. Amen. Please rise.